Well, we thought, didn't we, that we treat one of our presenters to an all-expenses-paid trip to the heart of a Sicilian community. <laughs> yeah, and all it cost us was a return <laughs> ticket to Hertfordshire. <laughs> Wonderful. Sorry, Giles. <laughs> It's that time of year again when our minds turn to fresh, crisp summer salads, ideal for a perfect British Britain. I've come to Hoddleston in the Lee Valley, which is a veritable salad bowl. It produces three quarters of the British cucumbers and half of our peppers. But if you want to talk salad here in Hoddleston, you better brush up your Italian. The Signore and pepperoni per favore. Since the 19th century, this corner of Harfordshire has been famous for its market gardens. In the 1930s, greenhouses covered 1,300 acres of land around Hoddesdon, providing thousands of jobs for the locals. But after World War II, British workers were enticed into nearby factories with promises of shorter hours and higher wages. Help for the farmers of Hoddesdon came from an unlikely source, Sicily. The British government's solution to the labour shortage was the introduction of so-called cucumber permits for foreign workers. Once one Sicilian family had come over, they sent word back and more followed. Today, the vast majority of the veg produced in this part of the world comes from the same handful of Sicilian families who came over 60 years ago. Buongiorno, here see the one show, uno show. Michael Gibilardo's family has 14 acres of greenhouses, all producing peppers. Where did this all begin? It began really 65 years ago. My father, Vincenzo, my, my mother, Giuseppino, they came over from Sicily on a work permit to work in glass houses. Why did they leave Sicily? Well, Sicily was a very poor country. They wanted to go somewhere where they could make themselves not just welcome, but actually earn a better lifestyle. And they come to this country and they end up with this empire. We are actually standing on the uh, parcel of land which they eventually bought, and since then we've expanded it to what it is at the moment. So I would like one of your family peppers. I'm going to pick one for I you. I want a sweet one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll pick you one now. Allow me just to break it for you. You see? Oh, there we are. And it's like biting into an apple. Mmm. Bellissimo. 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 <laughs> you're me, you're really not mucking. You're telling me. You're telling me. You're doing the right thing at the moment. If you go out of place, then I might be. <laughs> the Sicilians are now such an important part of the local community, they even have an honorary consul for the Italian government. I'm joining him for a special evening of Sicilian food and entertainment. So you're Mr. Italy for Hollis? Yes, because we have about 36,000 people. I uh, uh, looked after their paperwork, like passports, identity cards. Yes, sir. What's this? That's my official bag. Oh, look at that. And I, I've got diplomatic immunity as look well. <laughs> they, if but, found, please return to the Italian president, Roma 1. Which village do you come from? I come from Superior. Superior. These families all come from just three villages in rural Sicily. But now, there are more of them here than there are back home. The owner of the restaurant, Joe Ricotta, is Sicilian too. Joe, where does your family come from? I come from Aquamina Plattis. My parents come over 55 years ago, and now we have a restaurant which is all Sicilian. And how many people will be at the village now? Um, Aquamina now has 800 people. The migration in the UK with the generations, you're probably talking seven, eight, nine thousand people. This is your bird. What's this? This is a pepperonata. Pepperonata? Yes. This is the famous peppers? Yes, this is with the peppers uh, grown locally. Oh, um, mm. <laughs> I want you to know I am British, but I'm turning Sicilian as I say. Buonissimo. <laughs> By the end of the evening, I will issue you an Italian passport. The consul has promised me an Italian passport, a Sicilian passport, before the night is over. And if you'd had this pepperonata, you'd want to be Sicilian too. Would you like some more? <laughs> that, that looks absolutely delicious, doesn't it? Well, and you can have some, I'm sure. Well, because some of the Sicilians of the Lee Valley are in the studio with us tonight. <laughs> 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 some lovely vegetables 
for you, Shell, so you can take them home. Me? Yeah. yeah. Do you know? Well, oh. listen. Peppers and courgettes and all sorts of things. What a, Tomatoes. That's a big ratatouille, that is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, Shell. It's all yours. Thank what you very fun. much. That's really generous of I you. I did quite Thank a bit of filming in the Lee Valley with uh, Country Farm. And the family yeah. I was with, they're in tonight here. And they give me a tip. They give me a tip about buying cucumbers, right? Don't go for the straight ones. It's the curly ones that are the tastiest. Wonky donkey. Honestly, go. <laughs> the curlier, the better. Okay. Yeah. Tip. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I've yeah. always gone straight. You <laughs> <laughs> see? You've got to go curly. The content that you can get from tonight's one. Carry on.